Hey, uh, Northern Woody. <laughs> Northern Woody about to go camping with the caravan. Show you what the, the rig looks like. Ready to go. Eat the deluxe caravan. No, anyway, we're gonna head off. Um, destination Maruk for a couple of days off the grid maybe. We're hoping we've got power down there, but if not, well, we've got the generator. Uh, we have got lights in the caravan off the battery um, and that's it. So we're gonna go. So stay tuned and we'll document our trip along the way. All right, adios amigos. What the hell? <laughs> adios, bye, au revoir. See you later. Journey, guys, we're on our journey. Uh, we're one of those annoying caravans today that you get stuck behind and you get pissed off. <laughs> I used to say caravans should be banned from the roads. <laughs> but there you And all over the countryside, Asta Leyland, Asta <laughs> No. No, Haven't you guys seen the Leyland Brothers? I bet you some of you YouTubers will know who the, the Leyland Brothers are. And I'll be disappointed if you didn't. <laughs> uh, can you not pester for food? We've only just left, for God's sake. I know, and I'm hungry. Yeah, well, I said to have, have a breakfast just perhaps. I don't like them shakes. Have a packet they of shut the hell up. The, you wonder what the fucking noise is in the back, that's where it's coming from. I want the Doritos. I want. Enjoy the scenery. Look, we're out towards Freeling. Oh, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Past Tananda, but not quite as far as New York. So there you go. Australia must be roadworks again. Bloody roadworks. And 
and we're about to stop. We might not have to stop, 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 but I think we will. Must be in South Australia. Oh look, we, we arrived at the right time. I'm coming into Maruk, Muruk, and um, yeah, we hopefully we'll set up a campsite. Um, I don't know if we're going to have power, but we'll find out in a minute, won't we? <laughs> Alright, so we made it to our camp spot in Maruk. That's where we are, Maruk Club, right next door. Got the caravan and the awning set up. I've got half the awning set up, I didn't want to set the whole thing up because there's no real need. Um, that's a nice little spot. There is no power here, so we we don't have power except for that. I've got the generator, but that's um, that's over there. Um, we'll use that to boil the kettle and stuff because it's quicker. Oh look, a big wasp. Just what we needed. But no, um, so there you go. Wooden, there you go, all set up for however many days these kids drive me bonkers and then I'll be out of here when they piss me off because they already pissed me off as soon as we got here funny that but that's the way they are that's the way it is but it looks pretty cool eh? it's all set up and I don't think I um, showed the inside of the caravan last time I did my vlog but um, that's it there yeah. So it's a pretty decent size and we have got lights for night time that run off the battery of oh, yeah. the power um, now I'm just going to go see about getting a bag of ice so we can put it in the esky and keep our stuff cold Down in the Murray, eh, hey, kids? Out my rook. Beautiful spot on the river. What's the water like, kid? <laughs> Is it cold? No. Is it warm? So it's somewhere in between.
Speed boats. Cool. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the wind? Are you going to try and do the slide pole thing? Only if we had a skateboard. Only, eh? This is my Morning, Northern Woody, day two. I need a coffee. I look like shit. I feel like shit. I'm sunburnt because Mr. Gumby didn't put sunscreen on yesterday. See, quite red. Anyway, I had to wait until a lot after. I could put the gas stove on and cook cook bull water for ke coffee but I bought a kettle and I got the generator and you know the, the generator room after 8 o'clock or before 8 o'clock which I think we're past that now so uh, I'll stop whinging just people in the caravan park like fucking last night I put the generator on for like 10 minutes just to charge the phones up and no sooner had I turned it on than someone comes over and tells us it's no man to have the generators on after seven o'clock. I'm like, well, I'm just charging my phone, all right? So give us five minutes and I'll turn the thing off. Like, fuck me, man. Fucking whinging fuckers. Like, just mind your own fucking business. It's not, it wasn't even like bedtime. It was still fucking daylight. Like, seriously, if you're fucking gonna whinge about every little thing that every camper does, like, fucking, you might as well just stay at home. So anyway having my little rant because I just I mean she was nice enough about it but it's like fucking come on like Jesus Christ it's not like I'm gonna have it running all night anyway <laughs> I mean look I'll show you they were parked over there so the fucking one that's a good little windy look the road is here and all night you get fucking semi trailer driving past because it's the main freight route into Loxton Lodge so I'm not generating money for a couple of hours, so, which I'm gonna fucking do this morning because my phones need charging. There's no power. So, you know. So they can just put up with the fucking sound of a generator going for half an hour because there's a million trucks going past anyway, so you get over it. That type thing. Anyway. Like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and reach for the whole day, but just like anyway, I'm having me coffee and I'll shut up. Talk to you later. Alright, this is the Mook Game Reserve. We're just having a look to see what campsites are available. Or, you know, what good spots are. It's a pretty good spot. a few years ago it was really good um this obviously it's roughing at big time there's no, no power out of here uh no toilets you gotta take everything with you portaloo or dig a hole and poo in the bushes pretty much <laughs> or you can drive into town and use the more toilets which is what we did last time because the kids are all precious and didn't want to go to the toilet go this way just to see what you can do up 
bit of a drone shot here of the drone out flying around our car because the trees aren't very high. Let's go check out this one, campsite 18 and 19. definitely be mindful if you are going to come here it's you can use a normal car when it's dry but I wouldn't attempt it really. it's so we, in fact I think they closed it a while back because it got too flooded out even for four wheel drive so um, yeah kind of don't want to get stuck it's pretty out here it's a long way from the road so Taken a while to get to this campsite. It's quite dense, it forested. It looks like this is it. Uh, oh yeah, you can go up by the river there. Can stop and have a look. Marvelous. Oh look, and there's even a tire swing there, guys. So this would be another spot you could come, come to camping. They haven't got a, a fire thing here though, like a fire pit arrangement, but that's no big deal. You just make yourself an old fashioned campsite. Yeah, it's quite secluded, there's nothing much here. Uh, but yeah, that's it.
pretty decent, doesn't it? Like that. I don't know. You just go forever. Why you got your shins on that? So yeah, it says it sort of started 20 years ago in the usual way with normal things, a swing and a slippery dip. And that was from 1985 in the advertiser. And Monash Playground started on the site as an amusement for the local children in 1965. As more unusual items were added, its popularity increased. By 1985, Grant Tefler had fitted, filled the park with over 180 challenges. There were slides, flying foxes, roller coasters, tars and ropes, swings, rotating cones, mechanical animals, and over 20 versions of the seesaw. 15 metre towers took with the leaning, le leaning towers are now, so that, over there in the distance. Yeah. Um, it gave visitors the choice of a figure eight spiral slide, a 60 metre straight slide, and a wide wavy slide. Monash Playground became Major tourist attraction, um, approximately 200,000 people visited Monash each year to test themselves. Monash Playground closed in 1992 due to public liability and insurance problems, yeah, that's why people got hurt and they sued them. So that's pretty much it, that's, that's what ruins it for everyone. And then uh, what they do, and it was free as well back then, um, Go for a walk down to the to the bank just to have a look. Car coming on. Oh yeah, this is Barmer. As you can see, it's the town centre over that way. It's not hot. It's warm. Hey. Yeah, okay. That's all right. We'll go over this way because there's no one around. We'll just go in the middle here. But yeah, how cool is that view, eh? Not bad at all. <laughs> mm. Oh no, my batteries fell out. Damn it.
want to drive back to the camp? No. Okay. Northern Woody again. Northern Woody's exploits. We're packing up. Well, I'm packing up. They're still asleep. Oh, fucking coffee as well, and it's early. Um, I'm just fucking sorting out the shit. I might do a time lapse, I'll be packing them up and see how funny that looks, but the table needs fixing. It broke last night. <laughs> but um, as you can see, the, the weather's looking a bit different. It's looks like rain's coming, but we're packing up, we're going home today. And that's it. Um, we discovered that there is power here, and funnily enough, had enough of an extension lead to reach, um, which is hilarious because the power is. I don't know if you can see where the orange lead down there is plugged into, but that's where the power's coming from. So I had like four extension leads. So smart me, had plenty of cords because <laughs> it was hot last night, and um, we ended up putting the air conditioner on. It's too fucking hot, and it was good night. Got a good sleep. Everything's charged uh, up. Pardon me. I'm just having my coffee and then I'm gonna start putting stuff away, packing up. Yeah, it's not that bad. Just gotta organise shit again and just clean all the dishes so that we don't have them dirty in the car. And yeah, we'll put it back in the van and we'll have them for next time. Anyway, I'll shut up. I'm gonna have my coffee and I'm gonna sit and relax for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna pack up. Right.
you're fine. Hey, you need to go? Are you sure?